Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. We are Happy Heart Treasures. I'm Steve. I'm Donna. We're resellers in Lincoln, Nebraska. If this is your first time here, we're rehomers of stuff. Yes, that's the <laughs> that's the bigger picture. We're rehoming things. <laughs> if you watched the last video, that was from Thursday's garage sale haul, where we found the good Halloween stuff and a lot of other cool things. So on Friday. We set the alarm. So, let's well, do it again. Yeah, well, let's see. Okay, well, I'll set the alarm. We don't really like getting up super early, but let's just see. We'll go out for a couple hours. We'll be home by lunch, right? Mm. Right? We'll be home after a couple hours? Not so fast. We found some awesome stuff yes. again. Yes. And then... When we accidentally went back to the same garage sale. Went back sale. to the same garage sale, <laughs> but out of all the garage sales we went to, is the perfect one to go back to, yes. as you'll see if you watched the last video. And then we did end up having lunch with a friend. Hi, Gina. Hi, Gina. And then while we were having lunch, we got a phone call and Yay. had a... Had a, a situation with a lady that was. Uh, it's we'll not we'll a explain that. We had an opportunity. Had an opportunity with a lady. She was. That sounds terrible. We what? had an opportunity, a business opportunity. Yes, she's moving her mother into assisted living. She's had a garage sale or two, so we went over there to see if there was anything uh, we were interested there, and so we did a little buyout there, and we'll go over all of that too. So we ended up being out. A long time yes spending way more money than i thought we'd spend but we i think got some awesome stuff so let's show let's get into it all right first of all it's like when you have one of those great days you go out and you have a great day and then the next day you're just like it ain't gonna be better than that so <laughs> you know we should just stay home and list this stuff well i don't know that it was better but it was another awesome day all right, Donna, where do we want to start? First thing I found in the morning, look at this. This is a 2013, I think. 2013, yes. Monster High doll, still in the box. The box is a little tattered. Not too bad, though. But Just not a too little bad. bit right in here. But still in there. Yeah. Uh, nearest, I think, I think it's like 60, 70 bucks, and I paid $10 for that. So that's an awesome find to start your day off, right? Yes, that is awesome. Yes. All right, then I have a garage sale. This is, I've never seen this before. I don't know nothing about it. Uh, it's an ES12. All I know is that the comps on this are excellent. They said it needs new batteries. So whenever we buy electronics, hopefully that works. Mm -hmm. And so we'll test it. Like yesterday I had something I was testing. It didn't work. Two things, but um, but the comps are really good on this. I paid. What does it do? They were asking 25. I don't even know. <laughs> Tells you what club to hit. I'm, I assume it's like a GPS thing. Um, but the comps are, there aren't very many listed. There's a lot sold. And I paid $20 for this. Okay, so we'll see how that goes. We're not doing this in the correct order. Like, this is not the order we got the things in. But just how they're stacked on the table, I guess. So. Hey, you can talk about this. Uh, this is just a camera. We went to a stay sale. It was half off day. This is a camera. It's not worth much, but it was only two fifty. So if it works again, I think it's like fifteen twenty bucks for that. This is also another electronical thing. It is a DVD VHS. It's a recorder, a Sony. So it's a good brand. It was at they stay sale half off, so it was six dollars. I'm shocked this was still there because VHS DVD recorders are really good, and it was only twelve dollars. So. I'm surprised it was still there, so I picked that up and, you know, got to test it and see if it works. Also, at the estate sale, we got a Tupperware measuring bowl for half off, and then we just kind of get some things for household use and personal use, so that's not a big deal. But, also, I found these cups, because if you will remember, the day before, we found this. And so I'm going to separate them and put them in the cups. There you go. Good idea. And these were 25 cents a cup. Very cool. And is there a cup for Corey? A cup for Corey. A cup for Corey. <laughs> Corey, there if you go. If you've watched their, uh, I don't even know if Corey drinks coffee, but if you've watched their last video, you'll get the rest <laughs> of that. <laughs> All right, and then also, here's just a brand new candle. It's uh, It was a dollar. Clementine in ginger candle. So anytime we find new candles um, for a dollar or less, we grab them basically. This was just a little Halloween thing. He was a quarter, just something fun. Okay, we found these at the estate sale. Um, this whole box of silverware 
was uh, half off. So it was twenty dollars. It was marked forty. It says community. It's Oneida community. I found the pattern online on Google search. Um, don't really know what they're going to be worth, but are we trying? It's got flowers bucks. on it, dude. See, look at the flowers. Yeah, I like that. So we'll give that a shot. Donna, Donna has done well with silverware in the past. These things are from a Crohn's uh, fundraiser garage sale. Sometimes you just get things because they're fun. This is a beach wrap or scarf, whichever you want. And then we got these hats for a dollar a piece for the booth, probably. Yep. <clears throat> got a shirt for the booth. Alpha male, life is good. I don't know what you got in here. Uh, two dollars a piece for these two things, which is a fantastic deal. This is, is a Patagonia coat, fleece line coat, and it was only two bucks. Wow! Can't argue that. And then this was a nineteen or two thousand. Just a dollar for this. Two thousand three. Uh, Miami Hurricanes Fiesta Bowl fleece pullover. Looked like with it was in the, good condition. With the, what do they call that? A hit? A, a hit. hit on the sleeve. And then we got these. A pair of North Face, uh, is that swim trunks? Listen. Or just shorts? They're changing there? There's something in there. Did we score money in a pair of shorts? We did. Oh Look at goodness. that. We got 17 cents and one's a wheat penny even. Wow. Look at that. Out of that North Face. Look at North Face pays. See? North Face shorts. <laughs> <laughs> this was a dollar. I just thought it was kind of interesting looking. What's that brand? I don't know. Duke's Bark. Never but it heard has of it. the pearl buttons. Yeah, pearl, pearl snaps. snaps. You got these. New with tags. Yeah, new with pegs. Uh, baseball pants. I mean, those sell. I've sold them before. If you can find them new. Because a lot of kids play baseball. This is just a Garmin watch. Don't know if it works, but it was only a dollar. So I don't know if it's worth anything, if it works or nothing. But for a buck, I'll give it a shot. So that was from the fundraiser. Okay. Le plane, le plane. Le plane, le plane. This is a set. It's missing issue number one. It's Magic Treehouse Merlin's Missions. It's number two through 25. Um, it was $5. It'd be great if the number one was there, but it's not. But for $5, I think that was probably a good pickup by Donna. Then I just picked these up for 25 cents a piece. I'm going to make uh, two sets of What are four. they? They're oil pastel kits. Yeah, they have oh, the there you go. crayons on the back. Little kids or big kids or whoever can color them. There's three different designs, so we're going to make four, a lot of four out of them. Cool. So those. I don't have any idea how much these are for. She, Donna loves, whenever we find the ties with the big eyes, she loves them. And look, so these aren't scratched at all. If you can get those cheap, she will always pick them up. And then I have a Cincy uh, Husker. Awesome for the booth probably yeah it's just a plug-in cool okay these are a few more things we got from that, that Crohn's disease fundraiser garage sale again a mug for the aloe and then some soaps that I thought were fun because unusual little things like that do oh, well cool. on the dollar and another new candle they just had such good prices and then this is soap foaming soap cool. so and then i'll take the blame for this one these are coasters they say i like it wet drink up that don't drink and text and that's what she said i could not pass these up i don't even know that these are going to get sold <laughs> i might keep these okay we found some barbies Yep, but we watched uh, we Grandma's and Pops' Barbie video, and so now Donna's been on the lookout. She's not a Barbie, though, is she? She's a different kind. Anyway, she's red hair, so that's why I picked her up. And then the rest of these, we got... They have all their little pieces and clothes with them. These are not Barbies, yeah. They are these are Rainbow, Rainbow High, High Junior. 
we don't we didn't look these up so if they were not a good buy then it's okay we'll learn but, but I mean, look you pay they have their each, cons right? that too actually okay they have their accessories with them so okay. we'll give them a try and they looked really clean okay so there's those and these we have to show you and hope our kid does not watch this video. She won't. <laughs> because <laughs> she'll want these. Yeah. I think this was a good find. Oh, I had to buy this for the booth even though I really didn't want to. It's kind of gross, but... It's not gross. It <laughs> is, he doesn't like the team. It just needs a washing, but I think we can put that in the booth for like... You know, fifteen to twenty dollars. I mean, it's a Chiefs Super Bowl sweatshirt, so, yeah. hoodie. So, yep. Okay, these are. Steve looked them up, so he knows the pricing. Um, Ayura, but they're but they're, and they're new. new sealed Ayura oils. And I think they're like thirty dollars. I don't know. I'll pop a comp up, but Harry Elixir. I don't know. But five dollars a piece. She took five dollars a piece for these. This these, was a dollar. They were Mark seven fifty. This was a dollar, whatever that is. A massager know. thing. That's another but these one. These are oils. new, and uh, they sell really well. And she gave me all of them for let's see, five, ten, fifteen, sixteen dollars. Yeah, and there's some oils, so just some good stuff right there. Women like that kind of stuff. But you guys, and you can find high dollar name brand cosmetics new. Women like that kind of stuff. You want to see what kind of stuff men like? Yeah. All right. By the way, you like my new hat. You probably recognize that from the last video. Decided that I really like that hat. Donna can do the oils and the perfumes and the fun smelling stuff. I'll take the dirty, gross, sweaty things like this. This is what men like. These are all vintage hats. This one has tags. Um, this is made in the USA, Snapback, made in the USA, Oakland Athletics. That one there is even clean. That's awesome. Look at these hats. These are old vintage you gotta hold it still longer. Vintage hats. They I I hate cleaning hats. Some of them are some of them are really dirty as you'll see, but I mean these are old. They're vintage. I hate cleaning hats, but I will clean these hats. What did she say about them? Here's Atlanta Braves. She said, "Well, hold on a second. Let me show these." Here's a Los Angeles Lakers hat. Um I don't know that it's made in the USA, this one, but see, like, that's pretty dirty, but I will take the time to clean this up. But it gets better. Here's a Super Bowl 29, San Francisco 49ers championship hat. Pretty cool. Here's a New York Giants hat. That is a snapback made in Taiwan, but I mean, that is vintage right there. Look at this old atlanta braves hat pretty cool pretty cool pretty nasty but it'll I've be seen worse though yeah um look at this detroit pistons hat pretty cool still has a tag on it it's just really messed up deformed and stuff a little bit of wear they must have wore it with the tag on a little bit maybe it's not it's just dust it's just like i mean the the beak is the beak the bill is flimsy like but this is this is old school, I think. I'm pretty sure. Pretty cool. And then a couple more. We have a Minnesota Vikings Tasmanian Devil hat right there. Not bad. A lot of really looking at them now. A lot of them are misshaped. But look at this. I can't find this online. This one is nasty. It's not nasty. It's just no. Dusty. It's nasty. It's nasty. It's gross. It's dirty. But it's, I don't know, Los Angeles Raiders, so it's not Oakland, but, I mean, this is, I don't know, Team NFL Collection, I don't know. I actually Google searched this, and I can't find this anywhere. She had this just tub of hats. I honestly should have just bought all of them, but I picked through them, and I found 11. She had a dollar hat on them, and I went up, and I'm like, if I buy a bunch, will you give them to me for, for 50 cents a hat? She's like, oh, absolutely. So all these were only 50 cents a hat. Like I said, I can't find this hat. So this may be a type of thing, once I get it kind of shaped and looking good, that I'll probably put this on auction. Raiders hats can be really, really good, and I can't find this anywhere. I even posted on one of the Facebook eBay groups, and nobody 
has said anything about they've seen that they've seen it before. What did she say when you said? Oh, she. I said, if I buy a lot, would you take you know fifty cents a hat? And she goes, Oh, I don't care. They're my husband's old hat from when he old hats from when he was a kid. <laughs> like, and he wasn't there, so she was like, I don't care. I'm like, cool. Literally, I should just bought the whole tub, but. I hate cleaning hats. So Is that I picked enough out, to make you go back out today? No, absolutely not. I'm not going <laughs> back out today. We, I want a list. I really want a list. Oh, yeah. And the other things that she had that I picked up, I pulled up. And I don't generally buy CDs because CDs are not usually worth It's not like vinyl or cassettes like I, I like better. CDs are not usually worth as much. But first thing I saw in here, it's a box of CDs. She had... She had a dollar per CD, and I rolled up and I saw Seven Dust, Lincoln Park. I saw Snoop Dogg right there, more Seven Dust, Power Man 5000, so old rock. And then I saw this one sitting on the side. That's Megadeth. This is a old Easy E. It's on 187 Killa. Uh, and I thought, holy cow, this might be worth something. So I looked up this CD. I looked at it to make sure it wasn't scratched, and it's not. And this one CD is like 15 to 20 dollars. And so I counted them up, brought her over, and she says, if you buy the whole box, I'll give her 50 cents a CD. So I paid 18 dollars for all this, and this one CD should pay for the whole box. So that was cool. We didn't include these, like we didn't pay for these. I don't know what's in this, but you know, good chance that these are probably scratched up. Will Smith, Big Willie style. But anyway, so that box right there is fun for me. We found this beauty. Donna is channeling her inner inked picker. My inner Alicia's vibes. And I found this at an estate sale. It was 50% off, so it would yeah. have been... twenty two fifty. And we looked it up, though, and I, it doesn't have a mark that I can see. But it does sell really well, I think, for, what was it? Was it was 60-something. 50, 60 bucks, I think? Yeah. I'll pop a pop comp. A comp. Up. But she's really pretty. And so. we managed to get her home with no chips. So. Yeah. Very cool. Okay, we have one more lot of, like, garage sale finds before we get into the other other things. And, you guys, this was, uh, this was an accident. You're going to think it was not an accident, but it was an accident. <laughs> we were in a neighborhood. We were in the day before, and there was a new sale, and we went to the new sale. And then there was two more sales next to it, and we walked up to the next sale. It was the same one where we bought all of the Lamax Halloween and other things from the day before. And so, what do you do when you're there? You see if there's any more. And so, this stuff is all from that same sale we went back to. And there ended up being, this is a Christmas Lamax or organic apple cider. I don't know that that's Maybe Christmas fall, or whatever. It's fall or Halloween. This is not Lamax, I don't think, but it's Witch's Joyride. Um, and then this over here, I was wishing I would have got the other the first time. $5 Haunted House Candle Luminary um, by this brand. Sladkin? Yeah. And I think it's like 30 to 40 bucks for that. Wow. There's a blown glass ornament that I think those do pretty well. And then Donna got all these other... Towns. Towns and pieces for Halloween Town pieces, sets and yeah. stuff. For like a quarter a piece. Everything else was a quarter a piece. And these little three up Paid here. Paid five bucks for them boxes each. Yeah. Uh, and then two trees. And then at the same sale, they had a Bose. This is my third Bose in two That's, weeks. Yeah. So they had a Bose. Did pay $15 for it, but I think it's like 40, 50 bucks for that. Okay. And then Donna got this Minnie Mouse top. It's got Disney. a little hood, like a it's, hoodie. Yeah. Disney. It's a Disney. It looks brand new. But yeah. anyway, got that at that same sale. And then, of course, y'all. They had yarn. They gave her the yarn <laughs> the for 50, yarn. Cents a, 50 cents a skein. So. Okay, so that was the end of the garage sales, and that's when we had lunch with Gina. We spent $157 on all that stuff. So I think we did really, really well. We were planning on just coming home and then getting to work listing and filming and all this other stuff. And then we got a phone call and we met with Lisa. Lisa has been downsizing her mom's home as she prepares to move into assisted living. And so she talked to us about like options for like clean outs and stuff. Like what do we offer? Because she got her name from Metal Lark Estate Sales, which we really appreciate. And we always will support them. Um, 
and so we went through and we talked about clean outs blah 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 but then we did a like a pick so we went through and we just picked everything we wanted put it all out in the garage and then we came to an agreed price and we hope that we're going to do really well with that too and so but it was a great lisa was wonderful um she shared like her story we shared a couple of our stories we got to talk about Donna's brother. We got to talk about how and why, you know, we left our jobs to do this. We got to talk about my mom. We got to talk about a lot of things and it was great. And so we, I know this video is gonna get kind of long, so we're gonna go through this kind of quickly, but we're gonna show you what we got for $247. Yes. And the reason it was $247 <laughs> is because it was actually agreed upon price of $250, but we had been garage selling and so... We scrounged all the money together yeah. we could. I and got my quarters out of the van. I got an extra stash out of my wallet I had been holding on to, and we even went and got quarters out of the van, and we were at $247, and she was laughing, and she says, we're good. That's good, because I don't think she wanted dimes and nickels and pennies. So $247, and this is what we got. In the interest of time, we laid everything out on a couple tables, and we're just kind of going to go through it. We're not going to, like, really piece it out, but this video is going to be long enough. So, Donna, it's kind of like Donna's table and Steve's table's over there. <laughs> over there. Okay, so, so the mother told me that um, a, t a teacher gave her this set when they got married, so that was, like, we know it's at least 60 years old. This was her husband's mothers so we know this is you know 60 to 100 years old these are home co yeah those you, collections you've been following us you know we've done a lot of home co figures um they are the masterpiece porcelain series so all of the porcelain are from home co this one i'm excited to look up i haven't looked this one up yet it is a magnolia cool i believe this is a frank Frank Austin uh, signed piece. Yeah, it does have a little chip on it. I think. It's a rock. Oh, maybe that's. It's a rock. That's actually supposed to be like that. Yeah, I think, maybe. Yeah. But it's a rock. Mm -hmm. Cool. We've got a blue bird. Um, we've got some bottle openers down there that looked interesting. We've got this whole set of pipes. Because Steve has been doing. Because now pipes is a thing for us. Yeah, I guess. So yeah. Got some vintage Crayola crayons that are look like they might all be new. Um, I just liked here, them. I didn't know that they were nutsheller, a wall thermometer. Uh, we got three of these. These are Craftsman, I think. Yeah, Craftsman, uh, like the accordion tape measures. A Sensi. Got a Sensi here. The top of it is down in the box, but nice butterfly Sensi. Back here we got an ornament. And a hanger that it goes on. And the yeah, that hangs on there. Got this interesting fishing reel. Clock. And somebody put a clock on the end of it, so a little clock for fishermen. That's like probably dollar auction stuff there. So this is Donna's table. And Steve's is over here. And oh, this is Donna's too, right here. We have a Cabbage Patch doll from 1985, I think it was. <laughs> Production date is 84 on the back. It says 85, but yeah, so it's 84 like stamped on the box or whatever. So um, we don't know about that much about that. But here's my section, electronics and stuff. We got a old model racetrack. I don't know if everything's in here. Something to remember with electronics is they could be worth good money and they could also A, not work at all, or B, have corrosion in the battery compartment. I did open one thing up here and there was a bunch of corrosion in the battery compartment already. For example, yesterday I went to list. If you watch our videos, you saw I picked up a GPS watch, fishing watch. There's like a thing that goes on the water, and then it's a it's a fish finder with a watch. It's a um, novelty type thing, but it sells a little bit. sells pretty good. And the guy said, "I only used it once. It works. Everything's great on it." I got it all out instead of listing it. I tested it first, and I got it working. And the screen, like it looks like the center had been pushed in and. And so, like, you can't read the center of the screen. It's really dark. So, basically, it's trash. Paid $5 for that. Ended up throwing it away. So, you can't... The guy, I'm sure, completely thought it works fine. No issues with it. But you never know. I mean, I come across things all the time that they're either corroded or they just don't work. So, so that's a chance we take with this stuff. But, here we go. 
There is a lot of electronics. I didn't open any of this stuff up. Don't know if it's in there, if it's complete, if it looks good. There is an old Sears digital cassette player stereo. This is like an old Sears Walkman thing. There's an answering machine, in case you need an answering machine from AT&T. This is an old Kodak um, projector. These don't do real well. I just kind of grabbed it because it's small. I don't like the big ones. This is a Isomatic. Don't know nothing about it. You can grind your ice up in there. Just looks shiny. This was Donna's also, these pots and pans. I don't know nothing about them, but it's a whole set of these nice fancy kind of, I think they're enamel. They're very clean. Very clean. Yeah. So she grabbed those. This is a thermos. Don't know, if, you know, if it's in here, if it looks good or not. You know, it's all just kind of taking a chance. Here is a doggy cookie jar, some kind of jar. Let me go over here. It's just an old pair of boots. I don't know nothing about them. They just look like they're in pretty good shape. So I just grabbed them. Here's a Sears lens. Other than uh, high dollar ones, they're usually not worth much of anything, but thought, what the heck, grab it. Here's an old Sears stereo. And then these two Sears uh, LED radios. This one's the one I opened up. And you can see next to the batteries there, the bluish green, especially right on that end. It's uh, full of corrosion. The battery is leaking and stuff. So that maybe can be cleaned, but I mean, it takes time. And it's, is it worth it or not? I don't know. Um, actually, you see that? That kind of looks like corrosion. So it's like it came through there. And this one looks the same way. Like you see that right there, I think that's corrosion. So these batteries are probably corroded too. So that's the chance you take with electronics. Polaroid camera. Polaroids generally don't do very... I haven't found any yet that do very well. But, you know, you never know. I'm sure there's some that do. This was one of the main reasons why I bought a lot. This is a digital Elf. PowerShot Elf. It's a different number than the one I've sold in the video a couple videos ago. But... If this is in here and it works, it is in here and it looks pretty clean. So if this works, it doesn't sell for as much as the other one, but it will sell. It's got a really good sell through rate and that's probably a hundred dollars if it works fine and there's no issues. So that makes me feel better about everything, knowing that that's in there and it looks pretty good. Um, here's a big old cassette Walkman, Sears brand, I believe again. Here's a touch casino an old handheld touch game uh, and then we have this is just a baseball thought I'd throw it on the dollar auction i don't know exactly what it is the greatest tour 1999 and then these are cameras i don't know what's in here i have no idea it's pentax looks like there's no camera in this one. Oh, that's part of this bag okay so that's a pentax here's an old radio here's an old canon a vintage cannon in there, another cannon in here. They look um, 35 millimeter cameras, I think. This one's a 110, so I don't know that there's much value here, but I don't know. And then in here, hopefully, this is good. I have no idea. I've seen these be really good, and I've seen these be very average and not very good. But it's a Canon AE1 program, so hopefully, that's good money there. Got a couple lenses with it. Usually, they're not Canon. People buy the cheaper lenses, but um, this is Sears. Yeah, see, Sears brand lenses. Um, so not probably great. I don't know. And maybe they are. Maybe they're awesome. But oh, that's a Canon lens. That's probably the one that came with the camera. So anyway, a lot of cameras, a lot of electronics. That's my table. So we paid $247 for all that stuff. Obviously, I think we're going to do very well. Uh, but that's what we do. We wouldn't do this if we didn't think we were going to do very well. Hi, Debbie. Okay, so I want to I want to clarify something. As I was going through, <laughs> as I was going through that, you know, I probably was kind of poo poo. I'm the great poo pooer. He's my the wife great poo pooer. Says. And so I may have been saying, "Oh, they ain't very good. They ain't very good." But it's not that it's not good. It's just like, it's really say good. Say hi to our neighbor. Say, say hi, Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can say that again. Very nice neighbors. Buy from them. They're super. 
<laughs> Thank you. And, and that's our favorite neighbor, Debbie, right there. <laughs> Thumbs up. All right. Um, I don't mean that in a negative way. I mean it in a, I kind of, I've gotten to a point where I almost expect the worst. But, yes, I was and, going but to then tell I you like this, to be, this guy. I like guy, to be pleasantly surprised. Yes, he is expect the worst. Yes. And so when we get the best, he is just ecstatic. Yes, and, and so, I am expect the best. And, and if it's the worst, oh well. Yeah, um, so we meet in the middle, and yeah. it works really well. So I don't mean any of this in a negative way. I just mean uh, we'll see what happens. So you know? also, we broke it down. Broke it down and you counted and it's about two fifty a piece. Yeah, she got like eighty, eighty five things, but that was not separating like all the pipes, maybe some of the little the pipes things. and all the cameras and all the everything. So for every item that we got, if we break it down, it's about two fifty. Yeah, about two dollars and fifty cents an item. So I think we'll do very well. Don't yeah. don't get me wrong. <laughs> we'll do great on it. So That's right. and it was it was great talking to Lisa. It really was. And we love her dog. Yes. Her dog's name was Jib? Jib. Is that Jib? Yeah. The dog was a lot of fun. Anyway, this is a long video. Thank you for watching. And like and subscribe and share with your friends and comments. We love comments from you. Yes, so. it is Saturday morning and there's garage sales out there and we ain't going to any of them because we have a garage <laughs> full of things to sell. So we need to get to work. <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks all for watching. We super appreciate all of you. Anything else? That's it. All right. I'm Steve. I'm Donna. We're happy our treasures. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.